Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out the Tice Knocker Fest Marson. I can only imagine that this beer is either one of two things. It's either a Fest beer or a Marson. We don't know anything about this beer because, <laughs> okay, so the story is we can't do a review. We can't keep up to date with the reviews. Why? Right. Because the app doesn't let you see the beer before its release date. So theoretically, even if we were to shoot a video per day, we couldn't see the beer one day in the future to prepare for it and schedule okay. the video. So we have to do it after the fact, which puts us behind. So in addition to that, we're busy people. We don't, you know, what are you gonna do? So color wise, I can't tell what this is gonna be. It sort of like skirts that line right in between the two yeah. styles of beer. Um, once again. Yeah, once again. Nice head though. Wow. Yeah. That's beautiful. Looks great. One finger dense bubbles. Um, yeah, it's thick. Looks looks great. Though I don't know about like the haziness. Like I'm kind of like disappointed that it's this hazy. I mean, these are just this is so this is actually nature trube which is bottle conditioned. Oh, okay. That stands for nature trub or nature, you know, yeast. So that explains whatever the haziness. Yeah, trub is the cake, the, the sediment on the bottom of the um, fermenter. Mm. It's all the yeast that settles to the bottom. And they call that trub or trub, whatever you want to call it. And generally what happens when you brew a beer is you suck that trub out and then you can secondary the beer and more of that, that yeast in suspension falls out of suspension, so that's the second thing. So it's like a golden yellow? It's like a dark yellow. Yeah, like a golden brown. It's like a caramel color. Yeah, kind of. That's okay, that poured really nicely anyway. Yeah. Mm. So let's smell it. Sort of remnants of a Martin. It's got this roasty malt profile. Yeah, it's not really a Martin, but it's also, I wouldn't it's say not, it's a Fetz here Also not either. a Martin, yeah. That's interesting. I wonder what Maybe this is. they used the malt from a fest beer, but brewed a Martin. Maybe. Mm, we're just going off taste now. Cheers. Let's do it. Cheers. Okay. Yeah, it's thoughts. It is like a blend of a fest beer with a little bit of a Martin. It's a little sweet. Ever so slightly. Yeah. Definitely not the sweetest Martin I've had. I think no. the sweetest one was actually a Midnight Brewing. I think we did a review of that one long ago. I'll link it up here if we did. Um, but that one was like really sweet, oh my God. This though, yeah, I feel like I'm almost right. Like this has like the malt bill of a, of a, of a Fest beer, but like half the malt bill was replaced with Martin malt, like yeah. with darker malts that would be used in, in a Martin. Weird. That's really interesting. I, it's hard to say. It's, it's hard to say what exactly this is. It's it's very light. It doesn't have a ton of body, right. um, which harkens to that fest beer style of things. But it also has that dense malt profile that I would expect out of a Martin. Yeah. And that sort of slightly estery character that you get as an aftertaste. That's really kind of interesting. I like it a little bit. Yeah, kind of. I think it's been different. I think this is probably one of the different ones. Yeah, this is one of the more different ones that um, we've had. Not traditional. No, but it's kind of refreshing to have something this different. Uh, so far, out of all the beers we've had, they've yeah. all been kind of in the same genre. I don't know. They're getting better, though. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. Maybe the last beer, like uh, December 24th or whatever it's going to be, is going to be the best beer in the whole pack. I sure hope so. Maybe it's just like this logarithmic scale where it keeps getting better and better as we go. Like it started crappy, but then it starts getting really good. And all of a sudden on the 24th, right before Christmas, the most important day, it's like, bam, and it hits you with the best beer in the world. And you're like, wow, this pack was great. Cause it leaves that lasting impression. Yeah, that's true. Maybe it's gonna be the worst. <laughs> that would suck. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry <laughs>
fucking Christmas. What's with all these like really old breweries that all of a sudden are putting beers out just for this fest or just for this pack? I don't know, man. It seems like every brewery in Germany wants to tout some sort of number scheme. They're like, wow, we've been doing this since 1340, you know, yeah. before humans were humans. And like, <laughs> you know, we've been doing it since, you know, 1700 or something. And it's like, what am I supposed to? We've seen that it's not necessarily indicative of the quality no, of the beer not. that's produced at your brewery. So, uh, I mean, you could be old as dirt and oh Jesus quarters, but still have the crappiest brewer on the face of the planet. Yeah. So, I mean, that doesn't mean anything to me. Give me a good beer and that tells me everything I need to know. We can drink this and say, oh, that tastes like two of these together. But like, yeah. would the average person that goes to the brewery no. know? I don't know. They might just be like, I like that, that's tasty. Yeah. But no. they might have no idea what they're tasting. Not like we're experts or anything, but still it's, you know, it's pretty obvious when you taste it. When you've had enough of each one, you kind of, yeah. you kind of know. I just wish it had a little bit more body. I wish it had a little bit more punch to right. it. It's missing something. Yeah, it's missing something in there, but it, it's still very tasty. But it I is. think the, the malt profile was a little too light to be blending this one really heavy style and one really light style. I think there needs to be a little more of everything, a little bit more hot presence, a little bit more bitterness and a little bit more body, but not a ton, just a bit. And it would have been like, oh wow, that's really good. All right guys, well that does it from us. If you liked what you saw, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. And until next time, stay crafty. Cheers. Cheers.